Hey everyone, it's Jess. I would like to show you how I embellished the ear wires on this Organic Circles earring kit. So these here have a very beautiful six millimeter Swarovski crystal. This is fern green and it's their mini round bead. So these have somewhat of a larger hole in them and I was able to string this directly onto the ear wire and then to secure it, I used an eye pin to twist around the bead and secure it there on the ear wire so it doesn't slide off. So I'm going to show you how to create that. And this earring kit is available in our kit section. So you can make these as well. So I'm starting off with, like I said, our natural brass arched ear wire and the six millimeter mini round Swarovski crystal. And I'm actually gonna use one of our natural brass one and a half inch eye pins as well. So we're going to first string on one of these silver trade spacers, this teeny little silver trade spacer. And this is an available in the bead mix that comes with the kit. So go ahead and string that directly onto the ear wire and then add your crystal. And you can see that that's going to spin until we secure it with the eye pin. So I'm going to go ahead and string the loop of the eye pin onto the ear wire. And then this is where you'll need your tool. So I'm using a chain nose plier. And what I'm going to do is try to tighten the loop a little bit first, but we'll go back and continue doing that as we wrap. So I'm just going to kind of bring that loop in a little bit tighter and like crimp it around the top of that crystal bead. While trying to hold these pieces kind of secure, you're going to then grip the long part of the wire of your eye pin and bring it over the crystal like this. And I'll show you here. I wrapped like two coils around the ear wire below the crystal and then that spacer bead sits below that. So we're gonna go right in between those. And I'm just gonna hold this while gripping my um, wire with that flat nose or chain nose pliers. So get, go ahead and start to form a wrapped loop a few times around that ear wire. And then we'll go in with a flush cutter and clip off that extra piece of wire. And now this is where you're going to have to straighten everything out. So it might look um, a little wonky at first. However, you can go ahead and start straightening everything out by pushing the, the crystal down a little bit. And then I'm just going to gently grab this part and try to um, crimp it down. So by holding my um, pliers in the loop of the ear wire and then above um, the, this eye pin here, I'm kind of just gently bringing them all together a little tighter. And if it slides down into the loop of the ear wire, just simply open that and then close that back up tight and this may spin a little bit still, and that's fine. It's just that you don't want the crystal just floating around on, it, on the ear wire and sliding off. There you go. So now you have this really pretty embellished ear wire with a um, sparkling crystal on it. And then with this bead here, this is a um, fire polish bead, I believe it's an eight or 10 millimeter. But what I did to create this consistent larger loop is using our loop making pliers here. And you're gonna see that they have different millimeters marked on 
the barrel. So it goes to two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I use the four millimeter. So I'm just gonna string that onto an eye pen and hold the wire near the four millimeter um, line in the plier right there. And I'm just going to simply bend this back over the four millimeter section and then form my wrapped loop. So now I have a nice large wrapped loop and when I make my second one, it will be completely consistent in size by using that loop making plier where it's marked. But yeah, it's super easy, fun project, but I love embellishing the ear wires with beads and different um, elements just to give it more dimension and interest on my earring design. But yeah, the, this is simply attached. Go ahead and finish this one side. And then when you open your ear wire, be careful that that bead doesn't slide down in there. So we're just going to go ahead and string one of our solid brass tiny hammered rings. Oh, and then you want your loops facing the same direction as well. So I'm just going to hold the wrap loop at the bottom and grip this top loop and twist them so the openings are both in the same direction. And then go ahead and string that on. And close that ear wire back up. And then I'm going to use our eight millimeter smooth jump ring. Open that. Got my pet tangles. String it through the large loop that you just made and through the hammered ring. So it's going through both of those pieces. And then I'm gonna add our pewter antique hammered circle to the bottom of that. Go ahead and secure and close your jump ring. And then you have your earring complete. So it's just a fun mixed metal, um, really organic feel with the textured and the um, different metal colors and this bone colored bead, but then it gives you uh, just a little bit of sparkle using that fern green crystal there. But um, embellish some ear wires and give it a try and share your designs with us by tagging Vintage Co. Be sure to pick up one of these earring kits as well and you can create your own.